piece is done. All these bed parts. Welcome back everybody. We're on the bed now. I've already painted the inside of the bed sides. So it's time to get the outside prepped and tape them up for paint. You'll see here that I'm gonna go around and back tape everything. And one thing I wanna point out is when you back tape, the tape has a tendency to wanna to roll around to the front of the panel. I wanna make sure that the tape and paper stay out of my way when I go to paint this bottom lip. So I'll show you this little trick right here. I'll put it in some other videos, but what I do is I spin the tape and that puts the sticky side on the outside of the tape. And then I can press it up against the inside of the bed. And then when I put the paper on there, I can push it up against that and it's gonna stick to the bedside and the paper and hold the paper out of my way. But when I start spraying, the paper's not gonna flop down, start blowing around, hitting the paint or anything like that. It's gonna stay in place and out of my way. Here I'm just taping down the other edge of the paper. Our goal here is to seal the entire underside of the panel that's already been painted to keep any paint and overspray from getting on the panel. All right, I'm getting ready to paint the head gate, two bedsides. After that, I think we got a tailgate, glove box, ashtray, just a few other pieces left. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 
Somebody had asked me if I prefer to paint the top color first or the bottom color. I actually prefer to paint the bottom color, the opposite of what I'm doing here. I actually got in here, started painting the blue, and just was focused on painting and forgot all about having to two-tone it. So I got the blue on first, and I'm gonna go back and put the white. But to me, it would be much easier to paint the white, and then you just got the bottom of each bedside to cover up instead of having to do all this taping and trying to keep the white off of that, so.
I started out masking off the letters with some really thin red fine line from FBS. It's great tape. I just had a hard time going around the really sharp corners of some of these letters. So I swapped over to the thin yellow tape. It's also sold by FBS. It's really thin, easy to cut with super light pressure with a razor blade. So that's how I went through the rest of the letters. However, when I untaped the letters, the red fine line actually pulled off a better line than the yellow did. The yellow ended up having a few jagged edges that I'll have to go back and fix. What I'll do is sand down the tailgate again once it's cleared, go back and touch up the little edges that I need to take care of, and then re-clear the tailgate. Everything should turn out fine. It's all part of the process. When you do something tedious like this, the letters, it's hardly ever a one-shot deal, at least not for me. I usually end up going back and straightening out a few little things before I do the final clearing on it. Thank you.